Stanford University. Social media is today what television was in the 1960s and radio in the early 1930s. It's the medium that politicians are using to reach more people in a cheaper and in a more effective way. Part of the challenge in regulating internet political advertising is that it's not one thing. It's text messages, it's embedded advertisements in video games, it's uh, organizing someone's news feed on Facebook. Our campaign finance laws and really the political science of campaign finance hasn't really taken account of this changing media landscape and how they're going to fit within the law and established concepts we've developed for campaign finance. My research focused on micro-targeting technologies. Microtargeting involves collecting the huge amounts of data from political party registration to our residence, date of birth, but also consumer data like what magazines we subscribe to, what kind of car we drive. And it's about putting all of these pieces of data together to make predictions about how likely you and I are to support a given candidate or political cause. Combining microtargeting with social media is allowing political campaigns to target individuals on a much more personalized basis than has ever been done before. What Facebook allows politicians to use has evolved and the type of post that becomes popular on Facebook has also changed. And we found that they were posting predominantly pictures. You had emotional pictures such as a candidate holding up a baby, you had pictures that boosted the candidate's credibility, such as a candidate standing in a podium with many American flags behind him or her. And then you had pictures that appealed to the voters' logical reasoning. These tended to be infographics. One of the conclusions that the students have drawn is that the new regulators of campaign finance will not really be government entities, but it will be the platforms themselves. Firms like Facebook, Google, and Twitter are in many ways going to be the ones that regulate campaign finance spending in the coming years. Campaign finance will be at the forefront of a lot of policymakers' minds. And we hope that the work that our students here at Stanford did will inform that policy debate. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.